78%! That is how many of his games Lita has won against Zerg uh, over the course of his career. His record is 14 and 4. Needless to say, that is extremely impressive. And Luxury is in a lot of trouble because today we're going to be seeing Luxury versus Lita on Destination. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think we'll be seeing Luxury walk out of this game alive, because Destination is both heavily favored um, against Zerg, and Lita is exceptional against Zerg. So it looks like all the odds are stacked against Luxury, but I mean, against a veteran player like Luxury, you can never know for sure, but we'll see. Five, four, three, two, one... And we're off! Let the pwnage begin! This is, uh, as I said, going to be played on Destination. Um, it looks like Luxury is the yellow Zerg in the upper spawn location. And uh, Lita is going to be the something Terran in the lower spawn location. Uh, the light blue Terran. Okay. So Lita, Zer Lita the uh, light blue Terran in the lower spawn location, and Luxury, the yellow Zerg in the upper spawn location. As I mentioned, this is Destination, which is heavily favored. Uh, against Zerg and TVZ because of the bridges, mostly. Uh, Zerg players will find it incredibly difficult to move ground forces across those bridges because of how powerful siege tanks are. Uh, so we may see uh, Mutalisks, uh, maybe some sort of Mutalisk harass from Luxury. Uh, he'll be able to bypass those bridges, certainly. And on the other hand, I'll be interested again to see if Lita goes for a mech build. He went a fact Lita went for a factory build against Hyuk in his last game, which was extremely effective. He just went for an early armory, early Goliaths, and there wasn't a whole lot Hyuk could do about it. Of course, Luxury is a f much better player than Hyuk, but again, both the map and statistics are stacked against him. Um, and he might be in trouble. Looks like both players are sending early scouts. Uh, they're going to scout each other. Um, and th this could be pretty interesting. Lita blocking his ramp with that SCV. It's not going to be successful. Luxury is going to get his drone passed. Uh, critical mistake on Lita's part. He's going to see what Lita's doing. Uh, Lita doesn't even have a, a... What is this? It looks like Lita is building an engineering bay at Hyuk's... Na natural expansion, and that is going to force a yell uh, luxury to build that hat or to morph that hatchery way out of position. And it looks like luxury is still going to commit to that 12 hatch build. I'm not sure how wise that is. That engineering bay is really going to be a problem for him. And I had that was very, uh, very well played by Lita. So some excellent play from Lita right out of the gate. I've said it before, I'll say it again. This kid is on fire. He is so good uh, against Zerg, especially against Zerg. 78% against Zerg as of the time of this game. That's unbelievable. Looks like Luxury is getting a spawning pool up as we speak. Um, but we aren't going to see any Zerglings for, um, for Luxury for quite some time. And I wonder if Lita is going to capitalize on this advantage by fast expanding or what? We'll have to see. I haven't really, excuse me, I haven't really seen much. Looks like Lita is going to wall himself in. And no, what is this? We are seeing a mech build from Lita, but we are also seeing a proxy factory. So what I'm going to guess, or we're going to see, are fast vultures. And Luxury is going to be have to really be aware of this. His overlord is moving south down the uh, east side of the map. He might spot that factory going down. And that could be trouble for Lita, because that gambit will fail for him if Luxury spots it. Luxury will be able to get sunken colonies down in time to defend his drones against the uh, imminent vultures. And it'll all come down to timing for both these players. It looks like Luxury is getting his third hatchery up. But I'd, I don't see any sunken colonies down for him, so he doesn't know this rush is coming, but he will know this is coming in a few seconds. That factory is going to get spotted by that overlord, barring some sort of unusual circumstance. And interestingly enough, Lita is, um, looks like he's putting down a starport now. Maybe he knows, and yeah, Luxury sees the factory, just as I said he would. He is going to rush to put sunken colonies down to try and defend against this vulture. 